Well, the high price of gas and a desire to end, Amer to end America's dependence on foreign oil is driving many people to look for alternatives, and one of those alternatives is electricity. Not only is the auto industry working on it, so is Silicon Valley. But a Chicago area man believes his electric car is the best solution. And as Christian Farr reports, his out-of-this-world vehicle isn't his only unique idea. If you think you're looking at a UFO or a prop from a science fiction movie, well, think again. This illuminated pyramid is a car. Yes, a car. But it isn't an ordinary automobile. This one doesn't need to fill up at the gas pump. It's called Dream Car 123 because when I'm driving it, I feel like I'm living in a dream. You know, I mean, I'm in this car that nobody's ever had before. And I, I just feel like I'm living 100 years from now. Greg Zanis is the creator of Dream Car 123. A futuristic looking vehicle that is 100% electric. Just plug it in to charge it up. Let's talk about the design because it has this sort of, I'd like to call it a little bit of a funky design. It just sort of looks well, like I'd like, like to look at it as a spaceship. You know, it's very, it's a hundred years ahead of its time in design. The idea for the car came to Zanis 10 years ago, after his father passed away. And 10 years ago, when my dad died, in behind his Doctor of Divinity diploma, he had kept a lot of crayon drawings that I drew when I was six years old in 1956. And until that time, I was building houses, and, and it just dawned on me that, you know, I'm just build, doing the same thing over and over and over again. I re went backwards and started making the paintings. I started designing the car. Zanis turned those drawings into models. From there, Zanis came up with the name Dream Car 123. I'm just so excited that, like I say, that I've accomplished dreams in my lifetime. And this is Dream 2, and Dream 3 will be the final card. Dream 2 is the version of Zanis's dream you might see zipping around his Sugar Grove neighborhood. It has three unique compartments, and Zanis says each serves an important purpose. Behind this panel, you'll find the extension cord that rolls up. You'll find the spare tire. You'll see the motor hiding up underneath here. And then this, this motor will get us up to 45 miles an hour. We also can put a, the same motor in here that'll get us up to 70, but it's pretty fast for this particular car. You'll see inside here, you'll see what the batteries look like. And these look like batteries that I would find in a car in some cases. They're, they're similar, but they're million-mile batteries. Mm -hmm. They're a much more efficient battery. And how many batteries are in this car? I have eight batteries in this car. So, uh, and when you sit inside, there is a typical-looking okay. steering wheel, accelerator and brake pedals, heat and air, a horn, plus there's also entertainment. Right here I have a switch for the radio. Okay, so you've got a little entertainment while you're driving around. Yeah, you got to have a radio. <laughs> but entertainment is not a big concern in Zanis's electric car design. Safety seems to be primary. From the car's illuminated body... Cars need to be seen. So this car is totally lit up. To its unique airbag system. This, this is bulletproof glass on the outside. So nothing's going to compromise this. And inside, I put a neoprene airbag. As well as its steel beam design and triangular shape. It won't collapse. And that's very important for me to have a pyramid-shaped nose cone instead of a flat top because it, you can't compromise that. This is what we need. We need to break away from being dependent on foreign oil. This car will also come home to its own charging station that would take you completely off the grid. And this is a model of the 65-foot solar tower Zanis wants to build. So you're going to be driving home from work, you pull this in, and then this tower is going to charge the car up. Yeah. Before he builds the tower, Zanis is working on creating dream car number three the 8,000-pound single-passenger car he wants to mass-produce. This is how many batteries you want to put into the final model or the final... Yeah, I'm going to probably build a 60-battery car at first, and then I'll go to that 80-battery car. I don't want to 
look like I'm dumb and make a car that's so heavy that it won't move. <laughs> Once that car is completed, Zanis says he wants to drive it from California to New York on just three charges. And if he's successful with that, he'll move on to his next big project, creating a tunnel system from the western suburbs to Chicago that will allow his car to achieve much higher rates of speed. Inside the tunnel, you do two, three hundred miles an hour. How do you convince people? I mean, that, that, that's I'm trying to convince anybody. Different, a completely really different way of thinking. I mean, well, you would have to in order to change the infrastructure, wouldn't you? Well, how did I get in Popular Science Magazine? They called me. So, people are going to start seeing what I'm doing. And it's, it's, they're either going to do one of two things. He's a nutcase or he's a genius. I'm only getting the people calling me to say I'm a genius, so I'm getting my egos getting bigger all the time. <laughs> Zanis says his website has gotten 400,000 hits and 1,400 people want to buy his car. So for now, he is putting his energy into building his final model. I'm not trying to be the philosopher of the world. I just want to build my dream. When I succeed with my dream, people are going to want to copy me. And I want them to copy me. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Christian Farr. If you want a closer look at Dream Car 123, you can see it at Wabonzi Community College's Renewable Energy Fair on October 18th. Zanis and his pyramid-shaped car will be there. You can also find more information on our website, wttw.com.